these these supermarkets, right, Coles and Woolworths, they told us, look, don't worry about corner stores disappearing because if you let us supply all of your groceries, we're going to give you amazing service and you're going to get great prices. Well, these days we get zero service yes, yep. and we're paying through the nose. But how happy was Anthony Albanese... To, I mean, he's late to the to the party on cost of living, yep. but he must have been so excited to be able to talk about it and point the finger at somebody else. And he was in North Queensland when he did it, so he got to wear the Akubra hat oh, while talking love about it. farm. Great but visual. it was a good it's look for Elba. Typical Elba. of Albanese, he really is not doing anything about it. I mean, no. the problem behind the problem is there is a duopoly. There's not enough competition. That's yeah. what's going on. I know Aldi and uh, IGA are there, but they're not big. It's, it's, well, it's a duopoly. When you've got a duopoly, I really am very reluctant to ever recommend interference in the marketplace and regulation in the marketplace. We do with banking. We've got the four pillars banking policy of the CBA and the ANZ and the NAB and Westpac and, and they're not allowed to merge and they have to compete with each other. I don't know what it is a federal government does to create at least that level of competition. If there was that much competition where they had to bid to buy uh, the produce from the farmers, mm. the farmers would be paid better. Mm. We, would, we would be ripped off less. It's a la Now, how you fix that up, I don't know, but there is a big duopoly and it's not healthy and it's not helping. Yeah, and of course, in response, all Woolworths does is gaslight everyone. Close the polls. We've found a new mayor for Gaslight City. Here's their statement. The supermarket price of fruit and veg is determined by what we pay our farmers. Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. We pay our farmers the market price for their produce, which can vary throughout the year due to etc, etc and so on. We're always working to strike the right balance to ensure our customers have access to high quality and affordable fresh produce while ensuring our suppliers receive a fair market price. That is just lies upon lies, in my humble opinion. I mean, we know it's simply not true. We have well, they... farmers on the ground saying we're getting 2.20 a kilo for yeah. zucchinis, and that is just one very small example. And these guys are charging 6.90 per kilo. Yeah, they're talking about market price, but they control the market. Mm. There are not enough buyers in the market to have proper competition. And to make sure that we understand that Woolworths is really on our side, they've also decided to cancel Australia Day. So they will sell no Australia Day uh, products or, you know, products like coffee mugs with Australian flags on whatever they sell. Not going to do that this year because the demand is dropping. We've noticed the demand is declining. So instead of putting it on you know, smaller amounts in the shops, we're just going to drop the lot. We're not doing Australia anymore. Uh, there's a war on Australia Day, isn't there, James? Well, absolutely. And, you know, they said after they said because demand has declined, they added, quote, there's also a broader discussion on what Australia Day means to different communities. In other words, it's got nothing to do with declining demand and everything to do with Woolworths trying to make a progressive left statement, which shows they've learned nothing from the October referendum when Australians voted against po uh, political um, correctness and identity politics and against corporations continually scolding us for having the wrong ideas. We had banks, we had sporting organisations, we had corporations telling us what we had to do. We rejected that. We said, no, we don't want to be preached at when we're trying to buy two litres of milk. And here are Woolies effectively preaching at us about the meaning of our national day. Good reason to go to Coles instead of Woolies this year. Uh, no, not really. I mean, they were both preaching at us during the voice referendum as well. Remember the... Sure. the you know, just grabbing some groceries and on your overheads the music's interrupted to be like now now everyone vote yes won't you i mean these guys all you have to do to figure out the state of play with this duopoly that you talked about is follow the money who are the two biggest shareholders of woolworths blackrock and vanguard and if you know anything about those guys, you know who's running the world. Who are the two biggest shoulder, sh shareholders of Coles, Vanguard and West Farmers? West Farmers, you know, the same West Farmers who donated $2 million to the Yes campaign. It is all very simple. Mm. These powerful corporations, they're not just selling you groceries at a ridiculous price. They are also very much involved in pushing these social agendas that everyday Australians are not remotely interested in. We want to buy Australia Day stuff. We want to celebrate our national holiday. We want to celebrate the birth of modern-day Australia. 
But these guys, slowly but surely, and it's it's a, such a basic play by the left. All you have to do these days is get something to be seen as controversial. Just keep saying how controversial it is. Yep. Yep. And then yep. massive corporates and smaller businesses yep. have an excuse to be like, well, we don't want to be controversial, so we just won't touch it at all. Liz, Hell? could I, I support what you're saying? There's a wonderful word which has been coined by an American writer, controlligarchs. These are the controller guards oh, who yeah. run these key companies who make the big decisions. They sit on boards. They're the managerial class. They actually move freely sometimes between the private world and the public sector. Uh, they actually make the decisions. I think controller guards is a wonderful word. Word. He's written a book which I'm reading at the moment called Controller Guards. So there you are. I'm not getting any money for this, but I'm telling you, uh, look for the book called Controller Guards. Have a look it up uh, on the web. It will tell you the kind of strings being pulled that Liz was just talking about. Mm. And the moral the story is shop at farmers markets if you want to support the people that feed us food doesn't come from the supermarket it comes from farmers it comes out of the ground we'd be dead without them seriously i i wish that we could stage some kind of movement where everyone was just like sod you lot a you're <laughs> yeah. ripping us off b i don't like your massive profits yeah. and what you're actually doing to our nation we're going to the farmers markets and that's how we know our money is going where it's been earned and deserved. Well, I don't know how much farmers are getting per kilo of produce, but I've worked out exactly how many trolleys I get per organ I sell <laughs> in order to be able to afford my groceries. <laughs>